By worth, I desire your worst, so you can just hide while I work. I ain't tired, you first. I write a second, third verse about the lies you go disperse. You never did, sh- I know it hurts. But something deep inside won't let me quit. I swear that I'm inspired by all this. Tell me that I can't, and I won't. That's what God's be the most. You lies, I'll do what I want. I wake up to a little bit of drool on my pillow, feel like it's gonna be a bad day. Yeah, I'm tired of shit, and the coffee ain't hit yet, damn, ain't that great. I don't wanna go to work, cause my boss is a jerk, and I'm not even that paid. I need a change in my life, cause I don't feel alive, and there's nothing that makes me happy. Oh. Hold my beer for a minute I'm about to quit my job Cash in for a ticket I'm going on a trip And I don't plan to visit I'm gonna stay there Till I feel like I'm winning Oh And this is just the beginning I need a big change Help me feel like living I need a big swing Home runs I'm hitting And I'll never look back Moving on till I get it all And we all got dreams We all want things But what you gonna do for it? How you gonna move for it? What you gonna be? And do you believe Hey there everyone, to climb me just this. Just a little note before I start. I have my grand grandson here. So every so often I might have to mute myself if he comes in to ask something, okay? So if I go quiet, if it all goes quiet, it's because I've muted it because my grandson is in the room. But hopefully he shouldn't come in too often. 
suicide right um what we doing tonight oh yeah we're, <laughs> we're looking at Sean Diggy Coombs and what we know so far what's happened so far right because so much has happened so so much right Oh god, my cat's trying to get in. Hold on. Right. So I'm just pulling up the information I need now. Uh, is this the one? Yeah. Right, so... What was it now, two weeks ago? Is it two weeks ago now? Or a week? I'm not sure. I think it's two weeks ago. But it all started back... When was it? March? When they did a raid of his house. And... Of his properties, I should say, his two houses. And oh, I'm just waiting. Yeah, and he wasn't there. And I've watched these videos now of the house, right? Right, and I think it's really bad. Hold on, I think. Come on, come on. Right. I think it's really bad that he wasn't there, right? He must have had a heads up that something was going to happen. He must have. But then again, he may not have been given the heads up. Because they're not going to say, oh, we're going to be coming knocking on your door on this date at this time. I know, they're just going to go in. Hold on. Right, so the, the raid at his house. Now, I have got a short clip of that, and I'll pull it up. Well, I'll just have to go and do my heading. Um, hold on, I'm just pulling it up now. Because I've been going around. I don't like TikTok, because I think a lot of it is a bit... BS, but there's some things on there that are good. And I come across a good one the other day, night. And I've been saving it and saving it. Right, oh god, oh god, my cat, oh god. Will you be quiet? Be quiet. Right, and uh, I've been saving it. Um, there it is. Let's have a look. It's a TikTok. So, um, right, I'll jump. Oh, God. So. Uh, this right. and we are following breaking news right now coming out of south florida chopper six live right now this is over the star island home 
of rapper P. Diddy, where four law enforcement sources tell NBC News that a search warrant has been executed by federal agents with Homeland Security Investigations. Now, we're hearing another search warrant has been executed at his home in Los Angeles. Now, at this point, it's unclear why. We know that the rapper, whose real name is Sean Combs, has faced accusations of sex trafficking in recent months. Last year, singer Cassie sued Combs, accusing him of abuse. That lawsuit was settled, but more women later sued, accusing Combs of sexual abuse. NBC 6's Christian Colon is on the way to the scene and will bring us a live report coming up. Right. My love is very quick. So let's do it again. And we are following breaking news right now coming out of South Florida. Chopper 6 live right now. This is over the Star Island home of rapper P. Diddy, where four law enforcement sources tell NBC News that a search warrant has been executed by federal agents with Homeland Security Investigations. Now we're hearing another search warrant has been executed at his home in Los Angeles. Now at this point, it's unclear why. We know that the rapper, whose real name is Sean Combs, has faced accusations of sex trafficking in recent months. Last year, singer Cassie sued Combs, accusing him of abuse. That lawsuit was settled, but more women later sued, accusing Combs of sexual abuse. NBC 6's Christian Colon is on the way to the scene and will bring us a live report coming up. Right, now, what I've got to say about that is if he had settled, because I'm a bit annoyed with the lawyer, that one lawyer, right? But he's only doing his job. So I'm, I've got a cat sitting on my shoulder and another one wanting to get on my lap. Go for myself. So, as he stated, when anyone puts in a civil claim, like Cassie did, they have to send them um, a notice, right? So that they can either claim out of court or go to court over it. Wow. Well, if he settled out of court, we would never have known nothing of this. Nothing. Because it was only because he didn't settle straight away before it went, before it was, uh, the indictment was put in. Right? That he then settled the next day. He settled it the next day. $30,000 or $30 million. $30 million, probably. And um, he settled it. But if he did settled it the day before, those pa that paperwork would never have been filed with the courts. And because it was filed with the courts, it thought, hold oh, on, she's put a, 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 a case in. I've, I've had to say, I'm going to do it. So then everyone else started jumping on the bandwagon. And because of what she said in her in her filing, it then caught the attention of the F, uh, Home Security, FBI, whoever. And um, and this is why this all came about, because of what she was saying in her statement. And then with that uh, little rod, the producer, what he said in his statement, and whatever women have been saying in their statements. But if it wasn't for Cassie, none of this would have been known. No. Shelly, come on. None of this would have been known. So it's his own fault. He should have settled before they filed the complaint. And it's like this lawyer has now said he's got like 120 cases. So he's had to send letters, like notices out to all, all these people that have been uh, cited. And a lot of these celebrities are settling out of court. Now, what I worry about is what if these celebrities who are settling out of court, right? Which they've got every right to do. 
are the ones that were possibly involved with minors. That I don't agree with because I heard someone say today, uh, we need to know who they are. We need to know who they are so we can uh, stop buying their music, stop following them in their films and all that lot. If they're in the film industry, if they're in the music industry, if they're a politician, if they're this, that. Come on. Right. Come on. So, but we're not going to know because they've settled out of court. Before, before those, those, that paperwork was filed in court, they've come forward and settled. Right. So, unfortunately for Diddy, because he didn't settle before the paperwork was filed, it got out there. And you know there's people out there who will monitor these court filings daily. Right? You've got the media who monitor court filings daily. Right? They're, it's going to get out. So it's his own fault. So we, it's all started with Cassie, yeah? I'm not going to show the video. I have got that video, but I'm not going to show it because it's not nice. It's not nice. But I have got this. What? Hang on. And I can find it. No, not that one. Oh, God. I swear to God. You're worse than the, my grandson. Behave. All right. Right, I've got this one. Now, bear in mind, he was saying nothing happened, nothing like that happened, blah, 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 and that's why he wasn't going to settle. That's why he said he wasn't going to pay her. But then she put that... And what was I saying now? So he's denying any of that happened. And then he comes out with this, I think it's a pathetic apology. Pathetic. It's so difficult to reflect on the darkest times in your life. Sometimes you got to do that. I was up. I mean, I hit rock bottom, but I made no excuses. My behavior on that video is inexcusable. I take full responsibility for my actions in that video. I'm disgusted. I was disgusted then when I did it. I'm disgusted now. I went and I sought out professional help. I had to go into therapy, go into rehab. I had to ask God for his mercy and grace. I'm so sorry. I'm committed to be a better man each and every day. I'm not asking for forgiveness. I'm truly sorry. It's so difficult. Right? Not once. Not once. Now, this is supposed to be an apology for what he did on that video. Not once does he mention Cassie. I'm so sorry, Cassie, for what I did to you. I should never behave like that. That is, you know what I mean? He never mentions her name once. And his lawyers, or what, his lawyer at the time, or whatever, has probably said, look, do not an apology. Put it, get out there. Get this heat off you. Right? Well, it hasn't. Because that apology isn't washing over none of us. Because he, if he could mention Cassie's name, perhaps we could have took that and thought, okay, he's acknowledged what he's done and who he's done it to. Right? Because it's like, when my kids were little, even though my grandkids, if they do something and they say, and they get told off, and then they come up to me and say, I'm sorry, Gran. I go, but what are you sorry for? Right, they need to know what they're sorry for. It's okay. Anyone can come up and say, I'm sorry, I'm sorry.
But what are you sorry for? Right? He never mentioned, mentioned Cass's name once. Which I think is disgusting. It's a... Oi. Come on. Come on, Debbie. Well, it never mentions a name of once, which I think is disgusting. Right, so we've had all that. We've had the filing, the court filing. We've had the video come out. We've had his apology. We've had the home raid. His home's raided. His children handcuffed. Well, I'm sorry, but when they do a raid, they have to handcuff them. Every one of them. Anyone in that house would get handcuffed. Took outside to a safe area and kept there until everything is finished with. Come up here now. Right, so it's a shame it happened to the daughters because I don't think they've got anything to do with it. His sons, well, Quincy isn't even his son. So, I don't understand what Quincy is sticking up for him. He's not his son. Right? Christian and Justin are his sons. But Quincy isn't. Quincy is Albie's son. Anyway, so, as I said, we've got all that. We've got the paperwork submitted to the court. We've got the video that... And then we got the next day where he paid her off straight off the next day, hoping it would go away. But it's too late because she filed it. Yet, it's gone away. That case is now gone. But what she stated in her statement can be used in the federal, on the federal charges. This is what I'm hearing, that it can be used. Right? So it's his own fault. He should have settled before the papers were put out there. He should have. But he was adamant he hadn't done nothing wrong. Then because the papers were filed, he, he literally, boom, pay this much. That'll get her, get her off our back. But too late because by then, other people had seen him thinking, well, if she can do it, I'm going to do it because this isn't on. You can't get away with this. So you got my taxes again. You're doing that as well. Right. It's okay. Normally I have my door open and my TV in my living room on mute. But my grandson is here, so he's got YouTube kids on my TV. And the cats can hear me in here. And they're scratching at my door and I'm going to kill them. Hold on, hold on. Alice, are you watching this TV? I did Oh, John, I'll be back with you. Sorry about that, I had to find the controls so I could turn my TV down. Because he's sitting in there on his tablet playing his game. With my TV blasting on YouTube Minecraft, kiddies Minecraft, whatever. I'm thinking you're not even watching it. And because I'm in here, I can't have the door open while he's here because he's going to moan because of me talking. So I have to keep the door shut. Anyway, so then we've had a bombardment of people coming forward, 
right? And I've got the paperwork, I've got all their filings. And then, because of that one filing, that one guy put up, put in, it's come to this, right? Where the United States of America versus Sean Coombs, aka Puff Daddy, aka P Daddy, aka Daddy, aka P D, aka Love, right? And we got the count wrong. Right, I'm, going, I'm just going to change it on my screen so you can see it better. Right. And we've got the count one. The grand jury charges. Overview. Right. For decades, Sean Combs, the defendant, abused, threatened, and coerced women and others around him to fulfill his desires, protect his reputation, and conceal his conduct. To do so, Combs relied on the employees, resources and influence of the multifaceted business empire that he led and controlled, creating a criminal enterprise whose members and associates engaged in and attempted to engage in among other crimes. Blank, forced labour, kidnapping, arson, bribery and obstruction of justice. Right? Then we got Sean Combs, the defendant, operated, operated his business headquarters at various times in Manhattan and Los Angeles under a variety of United <coughs> States based corporate entities, including Bad Boy Entertainment, Coombs Enterprises, and Coombs Global. Collectively, the Coombs business. <coughs> Sorry about this. I didn't come on last night because. <coughs> My stomach was doing somersaults and my throat was all horsey. Cor corporate entities in the Coons business included, among other things, record labels, a record studio, and a power. Well, I don't know what a power line is. An alcoholic spirits business. Why do they all go into the spirits business? marketing agency and a television network and media company. I don't know what on your power line is, I'll, I'll need to check that out. At all times relevant to this indictment, Sean Coombs, the defendant, engaged in a persistent and pervasive pattern of blank towards women and other individuals. This blank was at times verbal, emotional, and physical, and blank. As part of his pattern of abuse, oh, why haven't I got that blank down? Got one. Coombs manipulated women to participate in highly orchestrated performances of activities with male commercial sex workers at times. Coombs and others acting at his direction made arrangements for women and commercial to fly to Coombs' location. Well, we've been through all this. We've read through all of this. We've read it all. Right? So, and then we've got... Oh, I'm going to take that off because we don't need that. We've seen it. We've read it. Right? Uh, let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. So we've seen it, we've read it, we don't need to do it. And I have got it on my Discord page. So if you want to read it again, and I don't think that's the edited one. I'm not sure it might be. But if you want to read it again, join, go over to my Discord. The link will be in... I'm going to see if I can get the link up and put it up on here. Right. Oh, God. Right. I can't get an invite thing. 
på op. No. Okay. Right, well, I'll create another one. Copy. And then I'm going to put it up on a banger at the bottom. So if anyone wants to come and join me over see these records, they can't they'll be on my they are on my disc just call account. Right, there's my Discord account. So, we've got, we've had all that, and I know I have got that on my Discord. So, if you want to read it yourself and dissect it yourself a bit more, please go over to my Discord, it's on there. Right? Anyway, so. We've had that coming. So he's being had for racketeering, sex trafficking, and something else, I can't remember. Those are the three charges so far. Right? He's not he's not been charged with anything else. But those three charges alone are enough to keep him in prison until he dies. They really are. Now, could he be the scapegoat? I think he is. I think he's the pawn. He's the pawn. He's not the one they need. Well, he is, but they need the ones above him. The ones that control him. Because I think there's bigger names above him that are worse than him. And by worse, I mean because, yes, he's making these videos. Yes, he's bribing people with these videos. But the ones above him, for all we know, could be putting them on the dark web. Because you've got some sick evil people who would like to see pit women getting beaten up and tortured and raped and children being assaulted. You've got sick people out there. You know what I mean? Not just women. There's men, there's, they like to see men being just tortured and you name it. There's sick people out there who like seeing that. Now, I'm, I say it's to the room. If you like a bit of porn, that's fine. Because that is all consenting adults. Yeah? You want to go and buy a porn in your magazine? Fine. Those women, those men, agree to it. They've got a consent form. They've got, they get paid to do it. Right? They're getting paid. They agree to it. These videos he's making, if he, if, People above him are putting him on the dark web. Then that's not, that's not fair, that's not right. Because the people in the videos who are being tortured, raped, assaulted, you name it, right, have not consented to this. And if they have, it's because, well, look what I've got on you. I've got this video. You either do this or this video is going out to the public. I will wreck your music career. Your records won't get anywhere near the charts. All right? So I think there's, he's been, he's the poor. There's people higher than him. However, I came across this one. The other day, and I, my jaw, if this is true, my jaw just hit the 
flow. Right? I'm going to share, I'm going to share it. Oh. Oh. No, I won't go back. Mom, I'm going to share this with you. Yeah, this is, it's got to be true because it's, the, uh, the singer is saying it. Right? This is Lady Gaga. Said to me, take your clothes off. And I said, no. And I left. And they told me they were gonna burn all my music. And they didn't stop. They didn't stop asking me and then I just froze and I just, I don't, re I don't even remember. <laughs> And I will not say his name. She shook. She shook. I understand this Me Too movement. I understand that some people feel really comfortable with this. And I do not. I do not ever want to face that person again. But she shook say his name. Because that sick person is... Constantly doing it again and again and again for all we know. His name needs to be revealed. Right? You've done, she's done the hardest part. She's done the hardest part by speaking up. I don't know when that was made. Um, when was this made? Right. Oh, come on. From what I can see, it's not like four days ago, five days ago, six days ago, a week, two years. Oh, this is not about PTG, this is an in old interview about an old music producer. Possible. As I said, we don't know. Right? We don't know. It could be from when she was younger, when she first came into the music business. Because I must admit, when I heard it, I thought, Lady Gaga? No. Because she's got her own producer. She's, a, she's not with them. You know what I mean? How can they hurt her music? She's got her own producer, a music producer. Yeah? But if it was a producer when she was younger, then I could believe that. Because she'd be naive. But even so, she should say his name. Because we don't know if he's continued doing it. You know what I mean? We don't know if this producer, when she was 16 or 19, is still doing it now. So she shook Say's name. Too much of this is going on in the music industry, in the entertainment business. You know what I mean? Christ's sake, we've got a... We've got a news ch um a tv channel over in the uk right which is so corrupt and hides all these people they have on their 
it on their programs who are pedos. Hold on. Oh my god, is a human just be? He's hungry still. And yet he's had noodles with his hot and hot dog sausages and I mean I don't give him small portions, I give him decent sized portions. And he's ate all that, plus the yogurt, plus some biscuits tonight, plus some crisps already, and then he's having a look to see what else I've got. <laughs> but you see I can watch him from here. I can see what he's up to. Turn the light off. Thank you. He's a, my, he's a little cutie. But I've got my other little cutie coming in a few days. Yes, my other little cutie, cutie will be here. And he'll be raiding my drawer, my drawer where I keep all the snacks and my fridge. <laughs> So I've got to go and get stocked up for when he comes. Anyway, so even if it is about her producer, she should say who it was. I'm sorry, she should, because that guy could still be doing it now. And she wouldn't know. Right? So. Where are we now? Where are we up to? So we've had 11 cases so far. This was before the 120 coming to it. We had 11 cases, civil cases. Right? And I'm going to see if I can find it. Uh, should be on my USB drive. Is it not a month? I don't think it is. No, well, that's one of them, but it's not the one I want. <laughs> let's bring some, what's this one? What's this one? I don't know what this one is. No, that's another one. That's the Jane Do. She's not. I'm not putting her name out. It's fair enough. Where is he? Let's guess this about. So we got John Richards. We got Lampras. Rob, uh, little Rod. We got. Jane Doe, Ruida, is that the one? Okay, for some reason that's not coming up. Hmm. Did I put it on my ex account? I think I did. Uh, I'm trying to find that. I 
A ver, es. Ah, sí, estaba valía. Okay, first, no, this is not wrong. This is not the wrong. I would like to see response. Oh, that's so wrong, wrong. Right, now, I'm going to check this out. Because... This is it. Uh, let's just get to the screen now so I can share it. Because she's mentioned she's in this. She's put Farley Agrage, plaintiff, verse Sean Combs. Joseph Sherman's Sherman, Daddy's House of Records Incorporated, CEO, PCO, LLC, DBA, Combs Global, FKA, Combs Enterprises, LLC, Bad Boy Entertainment Holdings Incorporated, Bad Boy Production Holdings Incorporated, Bad Boy Brooks Holdings, Bad Boy Record, blah, blah, blah. Right? Now, apparently, she mentioned but I can see him now. Oh yeah, Joseph Sherman. Huh? Joseph Sherman. He was the supposed bodyguard at the time. But he's saying he wasn't working for Diddy. At that time. Right? Now, when I looked up, you know that everyone, uh, what's his name? Jean? Jean? Yeah. Uh, let's see if I can find that one. Okay. Because I'm sure it said he was working for him at, in 2003 to 2013. Mm. Trying to find you. But I know I've read somewhere that he was working, got him down, he's working for Diddy from 2003 to 2013. I thought, well, that can't be right. Because we know he was working for Diddy in the 90s, early 90s, because if you are to believe what is said in that memoir, which I think some of it is true, and I think a lot of it might be um, hard to be. Right? 
sort of thing. I can't think of the word I'm looking for. And she said, it was in 1990 when she first saw Jeannie, Jean, sorry, as he opened the door for her to get in. And then he talks, and there's interviews he does, he talks about a lot of the things, right, all these interviews. And I'm going to look at these interviews. Here's a random biggie, this shot, here's a random two-pack of shot, right? Now, I think this guy here, he may not have been working for Diggy at the time, but he does state that there were times he saw Diggy because he was working security for someone else. And so he's seen Diggy going to these red carpet dues and whatever. Now, what do security men do, bodyguards do? Hmm? They talk, don't they? They talk. So I think he was shown while, while, while whatever was going on inside the building or on the stage, he was shown by another security guard, by another bodyguard, this video of Thalia. Right? But she says, it's him that is in the video. So I'm, I don't know what to believe. Oh, yeah. We'll go through this. We haven't gone through this. Plaintiff Thalia Graves by Andrew Attorneys, Alreg Morocco, and Goldberg and Cookie Hacking Wong, and I'll pay for her complaint, alleges as follows. In or around the summer 2001, plaintiff, life was violently knocked off course when defendants Sean Coombs and Joseph Sherman viciously raped her at the Bad Boy Record Studio in New York City. Plaintiff was 25 at the time and dating one of Coombs' employees, a relationship that Coombs exploited to lure Plaintiff into meeting him in Sherman alone. Once they successfully sequestered Plaintiff, Coombs and Sherman gave Plaintiff a drink, likely laced with a drug that eventually caused her briefly to lose consciousness. She woke to find herself bound and restrained. Coombs and Sherman proceeded to brutally, sexually abuse and violate plaintiff. Coombs mercilessly raped her, I and V. I'm not going to say them words. Right? Sherman forcefully slammed plaintiff onto a table, slapped her and reportedly thrust his pee into her mouth. Both men were un undeterred by plaintiff's cries for help throughout the attack. Plaintiff never recovered from defendant's violent R. She had suicidal thoughts and indiation and has received extensive psychological treatment because of defendant's attack. For decades, she remained silent and did not report the crime out of fear that defendants would use their power to ruin her life, as they had reportedly, explicitly, hold on, Oh dear, right, 
Trans is used the power to ruin your life, as they report repeatedly, explicitly threatening to do. To this day, plaintiff suffers from severe depression, anxiety and panic attacks and still lives in fear of defending. End of. Any progress plaintiffs had made in healing from the attack of the years was dramatically reversed on or around November 27, 2023, when she learned for the first time that Coombs and Sherman had video recorded the horrific R 22 years before and had shown the video to multiple men, seeking to publicly degrade and humiliate both plaintiff and her boyfriend. Right, so a lot of people are saying, so why has she come forward now? Why? This happened in 2001. Why, why now? It's because of that video. Plaintiff could not believe that defendants would record themselves committing such a gruesome crime and then proceed proudly and widely to dis- dis- disseminate the recording of it. She was distraught and sunk into deep dis- depression. She again considered ending her life. Now that would be hard, that would be soul destroying. I know what happened to you and you, you've seeked help, you, you know what I mean? You haven't reported it but you've got help for it, you've tried to get on with your life and then all of a sudden, boom, Someone tells you about the video. That would literally knock you back those 20 years. It will take her back to that day itself. Right? She again considered ending her life. The, this action seeks redress for defendants brutalising misogynistic and violent attacks on plaintiffs, stating. In 2001, with their art and continuing in the subsequent years, as they compounded her humiliation by showing the video of the sexual eye to others. Well, for 20 years they've been showing this video. You know what I mean? So it's only because her a boyfriend or someone saw it. Hold on. Oh my god, I might have to cut this short because I don't like to do lives when he's here because he can be a bit awkward. He'll say, yes, do you like, Granga? I'll be good. He's been good, but now he wants me to go and sit with him. So. Right. So, it's only because I believe, I think it was her boyfriend seeing it. Right, that's just about the defendants, right? Right. And all the different enterprises. Actually, I think I have shared this. I think I have shared this. I know it's on my ex account, so please go in. Yeah, I've shared it to my ex account. 
Right, so on my X account, this is where I've got it from, off my X account, right? But then, you've got this one, which is like, um, this is the response by Sean Combs and his lawyers to the indictment by Thalia, right? And they've responded to this one. Let's uh, see if I can just share this. Share screen. Right. Defendant Sean Combs by his attorneys for his answer and defence to the complaint filed by a plaintiff, he by denies knowledge or information sufficient to form a belief as to the truth or falsity of any allegation concerning the acts or omissions of third parties unless otherwise specifically stated and responds specifically with respect to each corresponding numbered paragraph of the complaint as follows. Paragraph 1 of the complaint alleges hyperbole, characterizations and opinions for which no response is required and on that basis defendant denies those allegations, denies all facts alleged therein and admits only that on the other than the 16th, 23, Cassandra Ventura filed your complaint in the course in which he was named to defend him. I began to think, is this the one? I don't know. Oh, yeah, right. It's just saying which ones he knows of. Right. Paragraph 2 of the complaint alleges hyperbole and all opinions for which no response is required, and on that basis, defendant denies those allegations and denies all purported facts alleged therein. Paragraph 3 of the complaint alleges characterizations or opinions for which no response is required. On that basis, defendant denies these, those allegations, except defendant admits that Joy Dickinson Neal filed a complaint in the Supreme Court of State in New York, came to New York on November the 21st, in which defendant was named. Defendant and Lisa Gardner filed a complaint. And I've got all those complaints in the Supreme Court of the state. So it's literally saying, apart from these ones that have filed, you know what I mean? So... So it's kind of like saying it didn't happen. But if there's a video out there, then it did happen. So there's all these cases going on, and that Sherman is looking at doing his own indictment against her for characterization of his name and all that lot. You know what I mean? He's like saying, he's literally fighting back saying it wasn't him. It didn't work for Diggy at that time. Now we know Gene Dig, Gene Dig, he worked for Diggy. But as Gene said, it didn't work for him all the time. There's sometimes it didn't work for Diggy. He was elsewhere. You know what I mean? And Diggy would have someone else working with him. So, uh, but we're going to look over that gene guy, that bodyguard, whatever you call him. Well, we're going to look over his um, beetle Thursday night now because I won't be on tomorrow night because I've got my grandson here still. 
and run. So we got all these cases coming forward, yeah? But the only facts we know for definite, the only facts we know, are the ones Hang on, let's see if I can pull them up. Oh. I don't know if you can hear him in the background. Why is my Discord not opening? Um, So, the only one we know are what the Homeland Security are alleging against him. That's the facts. All these civil cases, right, a lot of them are being dealt with out of court because they don't want the names put out there. But they've only got a certain window to say, okay, we're going to settle this out of court, you know what I mean? But it's not right, not these were minors. These were minors who they assaulted at the time. It's not right that they get to settle out of court. It's not. Right, because we don't know if they're going to carry on doing it. We don't know if they have carried on doing it and doing it to other young children. We don't know. I feel sorry for those because there's a lot of them who have come forward who they can't help because they haven't got the the dates or video or any receipts really to say they were there at this time at this place. Right? They don't know names of people, you know what I mean? They probably don't know the names of people. So there's a lot of them they can't help. And there's a lot of them that are just there for the 15 minutes of fame. So I feel sorry for those that can't help. But I think that lawyer was wrong in saying, you'll be surprised by the big names that are going to be mentioned. No, because a lot of these big names are settling out of court, so we won't get to know those names, which is wrong. Especially when it comes to the children that were involved at the time. Right? So, I think, I don't think those ones should be settled out. They should go to court. Sorry, this one is not being settled out of court. Right? These are going to court. And if it was me, I would just say, look, yeah, I was admiring at the time. And no, I do not want to settle out of court. I want to go to court. I want to go to trial. But you see, the advantage of settling out of court was A, it keeps the perpetrator's name out the, out the media so they can still carry on doing what they're doing. And the defendants, um, the survivors, they don't have to go through a court case. They don't have to stand up there and give their testimony and get, go through every dirty little detail. You know what I mean? This can be so harrowing and traumatic for them. So a lot of them might say, yet yeah, just let it out of court. But I think it's wrong when it comes to children. Right? And if I was an adult, if I was a woman, I don't know, take me to court, I'll take this to court, I'm not settling out, out. I want it to go to court. Whether I won my case or not, at least then, his name or her name, whatever, was put out there in public. You know what I mean? So, a lot of them will go for the money because a lot of them are still going for treatments. 
And I'm going to use ice, not like in the UK where you got the NHS, where you can get a lot of your treatments done for nothing. Right? But in the USA, you have to pay for it. But I still think when it comes to children, their names should be brought into it. And you never know, they might still use those witnesses, their names. They could still come out. I heard the other night that apparently, um, if the Home Security or FBI want to, they can pick up on these cases, right? And they can bring these people up on charges themselves. You know what I mean? Because I think it's disgusting how they can go, oh, okay, we're paying 30 million. Let's just get, get 30 million. That's pocket change to a lot of them. Pocket change. Right? It's, it's probably a couple of, uh, couple of weeks of not, not being able to go out to your fancy restaurant or something. It's pocket change to them. So I think it's disgusting how they can settle out of court when it comes to children. It shouldn't be allowed. But it just shows, it does say like, just because they settle out of court does not mean they're guilty. Right? Well, if you wasn't guilty, why would you settle out of court? If you was innocent, you'd be going, I'm not helping 20, uh, 20, 20 million or 30 million. No, I'm taking this to court. I, you know what I mean? I'd be adamant. You don't take me to court because I know where I was and what I was doing, who I was with. You know what I mean? Because then, as that lawyer said, it comes down to their word against the defendant's word. And if the defendant can bring out proof that I wasn't even in the country at that time, or I was here doing, in another state, doing a video, right, say they're doing a music video, I was here, or I was here because I was on a TV show, then they're going to win, aren't they? So, if you've got nothing to hide, why pay out of court? Why pay at all? You'd say, how no. Right? The only reason you pay out of court is because you don't want your name being out there in the public. And I'll be going, my name's out there in the public. Okay, I'll fight my name. And I'll be adamant. I will put it out there, everything I had on, on where I was, who I was with, everything. But they can't afford to, because as soon as your name goes out there and it's in connection with a child, hmm, if you're a singer, people stop buying your records. If you're an actor, people will go against the film. Look at Johnny Depp and what's her name? Right, she lost, and so she deserved to lose, yeah? Because Johnny Depp put him, his soul online there, right? out there for everyone to see. He wasn't hiding anything. He won his case. But there's a lot of people going, oh, he shouldn't be doing this, he shouldn't... You shot, you can't judge anyone. They're all in the until proven guilty. <coughs> <coughs> Sam is in this case. He's in the until proven guilty. Now, we don't know how good a case um, security have got on him. We don't. Because those are the ones that are going to send him down. The charges are 
that um, security, FBI and all that lot put against him. Not least civil cases. Yes, it'll go to court. They can go to court. But I don't think they send him down for it. I don't know. Would they, could they send him down for it? I don't know. So it's just you got so many people coming forward and I don't know every day there's a different story coming out. Every day. And I'm thinking, really? Really? What next? To go and dig dig someone up out of the ground and say, I was there, I saw it. You know what I mean? There's too many and even that one lawyer who's got a case against Coombs, well, is, is uh, questioning that um, Busby guy. She's kind of like questioning him. Why has he got all these people come forward to him? Could you be a bit jealous on her side? Well, no, I've only got the one come to me. Right? I'm sorry, none of these lawyers should be on any channel talking about any of these cases. I don't trust any lawyers that come onto YouTube. Like, I don't. It's like, I don't trust any private investigators that come onto YouTube. Because I think, do you not know what? Part of private investigator means the word private means. Yes, certainly. Yeah, did it on me? Mm. What did you have? My job. Well, hey. And my lord, he just slammed my door and my whole balcony shook. Christ. And man, so, as I said, there's so many rabbit holes and I'm thinking, you've got to stick to the facts. You've got to stick to the facts. These, about Dahlia Graves and all that lot, are all civil cases. And a lot of them will be settled out of court because they don't want their names up on the headlines. So a lot of them are going to be settled out of court. And we will wait to see what names come forward, if any, unless they all settle out of court. Right? The only ones that won't be settling out of court would be Diddy, because he can't. He's in prison already. So if any one of these cases have got Diggy and someone else involved, then they can probably settle it partially out of court. And then probably say, do you want to go any further with this? Because Diggy's already in prison. Do you want to press any more? You know what I mean? Perhaps I could go for Diggy. But it all depends whether he goes, okay, we'll pay him off. Get them paid off, pay them all off. Get them out of the way, you know what I mean? But I, I, I'm just disgusted that people are being, are coming forward and paying. I'm just saying, look, yeah, okay. I'll pay. And they, we're not going to hear anything else about them. And they will carry on their maybe little way, find some other person out there. Now, what gets me is there's a lot of big names coming forward, like Jay-Z, Beyonce, uh, J-Lo, Kutchner, whatever his name is, and all these other ones. No one, not one of them, 
is talking. Not one. Are they all covering their own backs? Are they all going to throw coombs under the big bus wheel? Because no one's talking. And apparently Jay-Z is worse than Coombs. Did he? Worse than him. It's just that he's got sense, apparently. He don't go around boasting about his white parties. He does it privately. He does it privately, apparently. But that is, again, by said by Jaguar. Now, some people may not believe her. I don't know her. To not like her. She's been going on about this for years. So, have ever people been talking about this for years and no one's listened to them? No one would listen to them, believe them. They just keep putting them down to conspiracy theories. Are you just talking BS? You know what I mean? If it was that bad, why isn't anyone put a complaint in? Because there's too many walls. They've got their career being held over the head. They've got their housing, where they live, being held over them. They've got everything like that being held over them. You talk, you'll lose your home. You talk. And we'll make sure none of your records get out. Right? So that's why a lot of them don't talk. And people like Harley Graves, it's like, she wasn't a celebrity. But they held her boyfriend's job over her head. If you talk, he's, he's out of a job. He's gone. That's what I think they said. You talk, he's gone. So she couldn't talk because she's more worried about her partner losing her, his job. Plus, no one will believe you anyway. I'm Mr. Big. Big D, as he told his missus, I'm the big dick. So no one's going to believe you. You're just who? A nobody. No one's going to believe you. I'm Diddy. I'm the top of this music, music, music uh, range, you know what I mean? Hip hop. And now they're looking into. Tupac's, oh, oh, Tupac's family, Tupac's family have hired, listen to this, this is something else we're going to be looking into, Jay-Z's, they've hired Jay-Z's lawyer to look into the murder of Tupac. Hmm. Now, I thought Jay-Z and, and Diddy were tight. I thought that was, hmm, is this a way of Jay-Z saying, um, look, use my lawyer if you want. I can't, let, he can't stop him. He can't stop anyone using his lawyer. Well, he might pay the lawyer more, but he can't stop other people using his lawyer. Unless the lawyer will turn around and say, no, I work for one person and one person only, and that be Jay-Z. Right, but apparently, Tupac's family are looking, I've hired Jay-Z's lawyer to look into the shooting. Now, this is very curious, because apparently, and now I'm going off subject now, Apparently, um, they said it was a shooting for robbery, for like to take his money and all that lot. Yeah. Um, why didn't they just get in the lift before Tupac got there? Why didn't they just get in the lift then and go up to the whatever floor it was to where there was forty other members? Up there, 40 other artists and members of the um, Bad Boy Corporation up there, Bad Boy Music 
co-crashing plan. What in the scope plan? What plan? Well, just wait for Tupac. So it wasn't a robbery. That was a, a setup. He was set up, right, to be there, for these guys to be there when he turned up at the lift. Complete setup. I've said it from when I, fir when I first joked about Tupac shooting. I thought that was a setup. But you see, I was younger then. And people wouldn't listen to me. And I said then it was a setup. And I said that about big big uh biggie. I said that was definitely a setup. To have one guy like in the winter months of whatever year and then the following year in the spring sort of thing. Big biggie dies, literally months later. Yeah. They both need looking into those cases. <clears throat> but definitely two pack. Well big biggies need looking into no one's ever been charged for his. So he's definitely needs looking into but to put it down as a robbery doesn't make sense, not for two packs. Not when there's four other people upstairs they could have gone up to. Right? And rob them. That didn't make sense. Anyway, I'm going to have to cut this short tonight because of my grandson. Um, go off. Right, because it's going to come knocking again in a minute. So I haven't really covered what I wanted to cover. But I can do that on Thursday night. And on Thursday night, we're going to look at the genie. Genie, whatever his name is, this bodyguard for GD. Okay? Because he's been talking a lot. He's been saying a lot. Alright, so, and I've only ever seen clips of it. I've never actually sat and watched the whole interviews he's given. So, on Thursday, along with you lot, I was, we will sit here and watch that interview. I'm sorry about tonight. I honestly thought my nephew and my grandson would sit there with his tablet and my TV and his snacks and his juice. For like a couple of hours. It's right behind me, in the living room behind me. It's not as if I'm in a different building. I'm right there. But it's not having it. So I'm going to leave it at that. I will continue this on Thursday. And we'll look into the other allegations that are against him, the civil cases that we know of. Okay? There's a couple of other civil cases that I've got the information on. We'll look at them as well as watch the videos that um, his bodyguard has been doing. So I, I can't see nothing new coming out uh, unless Homeland um, Security issue more charges. Right, I know he goes to court on the 14th, is he? Or is that another case? I can't remember. I think he's on oh no, that's another case on the 14th. I think that on the 14th, I think it's, oh, what's his name? The other final piece of SHIT. Um, Stephen, Stephen Stearns, I think he's back up in court on the 14th. I'm not sure, I'd have to check that out. Anyway, so, as I said, the one security, the one bodyguard is going to put in a counter complaint against Dahlia, 
because he's adamant he did not, he was not there. So I wanted to show that video tonight, but he's not going to let me. So I'm going to let it go. I say thank you for everyone being here with me tonight. Please show me some love on X. I do appreciate that. Leave me a comment. I do get back to you. Might be a day or so, but I do get back to you. Right. Um, and I will see you Thursday. So until then, stay safe. And we'll go out with a bit of this music. Um, what we should I play out tonight? Ooh. Oh, I'll go out with this one. I like that one, so. Thank you again for everyone. Sorry I'm having to cut and run. But I'll see you there, So instinctive and so passionate Every word I move so descriptive like an adjective I got a vendetta against people who patented Being negative when you should be getting after it I got facts over facts over tracks This and that spitting slow, spitting fast I could roast, I could gas, think I'm okay at last But I don't know if that can erase all the past And the pettiness, a reflection of the emptiness Hilarious, you think you're with my time, you're delirious Mysterious, because you are behind a fake exterior Inferior, you know I'll always be a bit superior Get off of me, this ain't no humble brag I want you to hear words, you can say them back I want you to feel free from the chains at last And to believe in what you got, it was built to last, yeah now that I've been put through, I never got anyone's help, I had to do it all myself. I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement. I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement. Gonna live it. I'm